Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Megan. And welcome to this week's episode of NNN. Child development class had their real care babies. Let's see what they had to say. Well, they're called the real care baby, so it's a simulation as if they were the parent of a young child. And uh, they're programmed on real babies' schedules, and they make the sounds of real babies. They cry, they coo, they cough, they burp, and they Students have to respond to the uh, cues that the baby's giving them, just like a real baby. Um, it was pretty hard because it kept you up like all night, and you just had to like drop what you were doing and take care of the kid. At first, it was easy, and then it got very hard when it cried every thirty minutes. It wasn't very difficult. It was just like a real baby. It was different than what I thought it was going to be. It was a little more challenging, but through it all, I learned my lessons and it taught me how I need to treat somebody and that that's my kid and I need to care for it. We haven't had too many problems. They're very expensive, so the kids do take them seriously and, and uh, protect them. Um, we've had some students that uh, have hurt them during the day, punched them, uh, stolen them, but fortunately we got them back with no problems. Um, other than just uh, neglecting them a little bit, that's been about it. I learned that it's better to wait to have kids and not have kids when you're in high school. I don't want a baby. And I don't get any sleep. Eat a lot, and they need your undivided attention. That it's hard to take care of. Harder than what I thought. Yes, it has. No, it's just aggravated me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have kids. <laughs> I just don't like kids. Not right now. <laughs> um, it's helped because I like sleeping and it wakes up a lot during the night. And you have to take care of it all the time and you can't just not take care of it. Overall, I think it's been very successful. I've had a lot of comments from parents as well as the students, how uh, they felt all kids should go through it. Um, the results I get from the comments on their journals that they have to keep is that it, it did show them that uh, they're not ready. And there, there's some that didn't take it seriously, of course, but uh, overall it just gives them a glimpse of what it would be like to be 24 hours uh, responsible for a baby. Here's this week's Christmas poll. Haley, what do you want for Christmas? I want a puppy. Aww. So, Logan and Drew, what do you want for Christmas? A pocket, a pocket full, full of sand, John. Oh my gosh. So, Santa, what do you want for Christmas? I want Rudolph to take a dump on Doss's bed. <laughs> so, Jordan, what do you want for Christmas this year? A girlfriend. Oh! We got the one right there. Hey! <laughs> so, Jacob, what do you want for Christmas this year? Mmm money everyone wants money so Nikki what do you want for Christmas this year well nothing in particular other than clothes <laughs> <laughs> so Chris what do you want for Christmas this year a 3ds something to play or an Xbox one or something I don't know all right thank you Michaela what do you want Santa Claus to bring you this year a new wardrobe that's a good answer here with Jasper Jasper what do you want for Christmas this year 
Hopefully a new bow. A new what? Bow. Oh. Welcome to Northwest. Let's see this week's how to. Ding, president, ding, president, ding, president. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I work at Burger King making flame board whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding, president, ding, president, ding, president, ding, president. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Don't touch the fries and hot fat, it really hurts bad, and so do skin grafts. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Wait for the bell, can't hear the bell. Where is the bell? Wait for the bell. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Get out of here! <laughs> Have you heard of the Memory Project? No? Let's learn more. I'm Morgan. And I'm Cheyenne. And this is the Memory Project. So basically, the Memory Project is an organization where kids from different countries that are orphans and have no parents and have no sentimental pictures of themselves, um, other people from America or wherever, draw a picture of them and send it to them to show their concern. Yeah, and uh, while we're doing the project, the students or our cover the art teacher is at the school, they'll take a picture of us drawing it, and the kid gets the picture of us while we're drawing it, and they get the finished picture, and then uh, we get a picture of them whenever they receive it, so we get to see them with our picture. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I would If like I get it. the opportunity to.
Um, whenever I was drawing my background, I had to go to a college visit. So I was in the car and it was the last day to do it. So I had to hurry up and try to finish it <laughs> in the car. <laughs> the very last night doing mine, I stayed up until like one o'clock doing it. And I wasn't going to school the next day. So I had to have like my parents run it to school early in the morning and I used a pencil because that's the only thing I know how to draw with. I use color pencil because I think when you draw things with color pencil, it's kind of um, I learned that Cambodia is a dangerous place for children to live. Uh, I learned how to better myself as an artist, I guess. Let's see what classmates look like celebrities. Why do you keep following me around? Start by dating a guy, and then drive him away. Doing everything girls do wrong in relationships. 